Hey everyone, Gamer in the Mountains here. Just thought I'd give some thoughts on the Xbox One while I try and figure out this upload studio. First off, Rise is a very fun game. It's very fluid. It works very well. And by working, I mean the combat, the storytelling, the narration. It's all very well done. The only thing is, yeah, it's a bit repetitive so far, but then again, I went into this game knowing that, so I'm not too disappointed into it. Second, Killer Instinct is very fun. However, I'm not a big fighting game guy. I only ever play it when I'm at a party or something, so it's not that big of a deal for me. However, I will say that the graphics in this game, with it, especially with how many particles are going around and everything's going on, it hardly any screen carry. I didn't see anything, so I'm very happy about that. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods, and we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandball. You got that? Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold, and take everything that isn't nailed down. The game I've played the most so far is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. It is incredible. It is everything I want in a next-gen game. The world is huge. The naval exploration makes me feel like I'm in an actual world, not just a fake one. And what I mean by that is the first Assassin's Creed 1 through 3, they were big worlds, you know. They had people walking around doing everything, but I didn't get that sense of explor exploration like I do in Assassin's Creed 4. And I, a lot of that is because you're able to have a ship, you're a captain, it's very, very fun. Also, I think Edward's character is a lot better than both Ezio and Altair. Um, Connor, I think he's better than Connor, but I still, I'm one of the few people that actually likes Connor. Alright, well... Looks like I'm coming up to the end, so I'll make sure I'll be getting reviews for all these games when I finish them, when I get enough time. And until then, I'm out. We're going topside.